Hello and welcome to this tutorial on creating a slideshow with Encore. Now you may have followed my previous tutorials on Encore for doing video and creating web DVDs but it's also possible to very quickly produce an excellent slideshow to demonstrate all your pictures with Encore which can use transitions, pan and zoom and do it all with very little effort. So that's what this tutorial is all about. So we're going to create a new project, click new project, I'm going to call this slideshow 2 and I'm going to save it on my desktop. I'm going to make it a DVD. Of course, you can produce a Blu-ray if you want. I'm just going to make mine DVD size. I'm going to choose PAL, which is Phase Alternating Line for the European Standards. If you're in US or Japan, you might use NTSC, National Television Standards Council. Um, but I'm in Europe, so I'm going to choose PAL. And I'm going to click OK. And a new project is created. Now, in my monitor, you can see nothing's here, nothing's happened at the moment, so what we actually need to do is we need to import some bits and pieces. Now, there's two ways of doing this. One is you can just import all your pictures and create a slideshow and drag them in, but the slightly quicker way is to right-click in this grey area in your project panel, and then you get this import dialog box that says import as, and you can choose slideshow, and then you navigate to where your pictures are. Now, I've got all my pictures here, I'm just going to do six, to save time and I'm going to select all of those just by dragging a marquee around them so they're all selected and I'm going to click open and then Encore will import them and add them to a brand new slideshow and it's all done for me. Let's wait a moment while it does that. Okay so there are all my pictures, they're brought in ready to go. Now you can see up here in my project panel that these are the icons for the JPEGs for the pictures I've brought in and right at the top I've got my slideshow and it's taken the name of the first picture to name the slideshow so it's called Bamborough Castle slideshow now if these pictures haven't come in in the right order I can simply grab them and move them along grab them and move them along change where they are so that you can rearrange your pictures so that they're exactly the order you want them to be now also when the pictures come in they come in with a default duration I'm just going to pull this up so we can see a bit more of this bit that says slideshow options. Incidentally, if you can't see them, you'll see that you've got a little show hide arrow just here. So just click the show hide arrow to make sure that you can actually see these options. And there are more below where it says loop audio. So you actually need to grab it just between here till you get that little double line and pull it up until you can see what's at the bottom of that manual advance being the very last thing. So now we have all our options, we can start to play. Notice down here it says slide duration 6 seconds and if you look underneath each slide you'll see its duration. This one starts at 0 seconds, this one starts at 6 seconds, this one at 12, 18, 24 and so on. So if I play this at the moment I'm just going to see this still image playing for 6 seconds and then click the next one comes in, click the next one comes in, very boring. Let's just play two of them. Okay, so I've actually shown you the last two. I had that one selected. Six seconds and it flips over. You can see where they're selected by this grey background that they have. So if I click on the first one, that's the first one selected. Now, this is far from ideal. We've got lines around it which we don't really want to see. And it doesn't do anything. It just comes on screen and disappears and it's very boring. Also, it might be going on for too long. Say six seconds is too long. We want it to go on for five seconds. Well, down here where it says slide duration, you can change where it says 6 to 5. And there you go. And as soon as I click away to accept it, you'll see that the duration underneath each of the slides has now changed from 6 to 5 and so on all the way through. So we can change the duration of the slideshow so that every slide is playing at the same amount. I'm going to show you how to do individual changes a bit later on, but that's how you can do global changes. So these slides are now turning over every five seconds and they're looking fairly boring, they're just flipping over. So what can we do to jazz them up a bit? Well what we could do is add a transition so that when one slide goes into another it moves in a very interesting and nice way. Well it's simple to add a transition, as you can see here it says default transitions, at the moment it's none. Click that down and we can choose one, let's say clock wipe. And if I click clock wipe you'll notice that this little icon has appeared in all but the last slides because there's no transition from the last slide onwards that just finishes but between all the other slides it's now going to transition and we've got this little icon to say that there is some level of animation going to take place so if we click play let's have a little look 
play and after five seconds one two three four five there you go it's done a clock wipe and notice that it is starting before five seconds because the transition is probably two seconds long and you've got one before and one second after the transition so we've now got the transition in place and we can see how it looks so that's quite interesting but you know what there are still problems here we've got problems with the way that the slides are sitting we've got these bands that we really don't want to see and a little bit of movement is always fantastic for the eye the eye is always drawn to movement and it can make a still image look a lot more interesting if it is just moving in some way well have you noticed down the bottom here under default duration it has random pan and zoom if you click random pan and zoom the image immediately moves and if we go back to the beginning and click play you'll see that movement and transition has already been added in so there's a bit of pan and zoom going on transitions a bit more pan and zoom and as you can see it's already looking a lot more interesting We've created, with hardly any work whatsoever, quite an interesting slideshow, and there's an awful lot more we can do. I'm going to click Stop. Incidentally, if you want to preview how this will actually look in your final production, you can always do a File Preview, or Alt, Control, Space, or alternatively, there is actually a little icon up here on the toolbar for Preview. So if we click Preview, we can actually preview how it will look. And you can see that the pan and zoom is going on and we've got our transitions there is still a little bit of, of bars at the bottom on some of them but it's not as bad as it actually looked in the original composition up here in Encore still looks pretty good and once we've finished we can just push stop and we can exit and we see that we've got something that looks pretty good it would look better if we could get rid of those those black bars what can we do about those well if you click on one of the images, let's click on the first image here, you can see we've got these black bars. But I also, in fact for this I'm just going to turn off random pan and zoom so we can actually see how it looks. This is how the image looks. Now when you select an item, you can see you've got a properties panel over here and you can see it says slide. So whatever you have selected, the property panel will tell you what it is. Now I want you to see down here it says scale. At the moment it says scale and apply matte, but there is another option, another couple of options. Click the drop down we can say do nothing but we've also got scale and crop edges if you click scale and crop edges the edges disappear now rather than having to go through every single slide to do that the simpler way is just to select all the slides with a marquee and then go in it says slide again and go down to scale and crop edges and then you'll see that every image has got its edges cropped except we can see this last one hasn't worked now sometimes the final one will not actually crop and I've discovered that if you move it to a different location and then select it you'll find that it will work don't ask me why that is but occasionally the last one won't actually crop and then you need to physically move it from the end and then undo it and redo it and then if you move it back to the end again you'll see there's no problem that's just one of those little things I've discovered from using this particular piece of software. So let's just reapply random pan and zoom. So now we've pretty much cropped all the edges out. I think you can see here already that maybe some of the edges might come back in, but we'll see in a minute when we do a preview. We've got a default transition, which we can change. Let's change our default transition. Shall we try another one to see what it's like? Let's do a wipe. And we've got random pan and zoom. Now let's do a preview. Click our preview button up here and have a look, see what it looks like. So you can see you've got the random pan and zoom, and that's a wipe going over the top. Haven't seen any edges yet. And the slides underneath are already moving, which makes it look even better. Brilliant. So that's our production so far so good we've got a good production but you know what would make all the difference is if we had some music and I click exit here and in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to add music underneath and how to make everything fit to your piece of music and also how we can make changes to individual slides so that they don't have to follow the same rules as all the others my name's Andrew Davis. thanks for watching mm -hmm.